Hello and welcome back to Universal Giant Place, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest. In this part of the playthrough, we finally have all of the small keys we need for the first half of the Spirit Temple we can into as a young child. So we can finally go through this last locked door, assuming I can get past a big Spaltula, which for some reason I'm having excessive difficulty with. Die! This is embarrassing. So I'm going to end this right now. Come back. You're not getting away from me. Are you serious? Am I really having this much trouble with this big Skulltula? Really? Wow. That does not bode well for me considering what's beyond this door. Remember the Iron Knuckle we had to face in the Fire Temple? Now we have to face one as a child. This is where Nehru's love comes in handy. Just in case I need it, it does a hell of a lot of damage. I don't want to take damage. So, damage, damage, damage. You want to be aware. Jump in, jump out. Jump in, jump in, jump out. Jump in. Jump in, jump out, jump in. It's like the Hokey Pokey, except if you fail, you die. So, once it loses its armor, or the big part of its armor, just go crazy. That's where Nehru's Love comes in handy. It can't hurt you, even if it lands an attack. So, flare your sword wildly at him, or her, I think it's a him, and it dies, and you win, and the door opens, and that's it. So you go through the door, and you get the weapon or equipment item for this temple. But before you do, we get one last visit from the owl. The annoying owl no one likes to talk to. And the absolute last time we need to be a child, he pops up and he tells us that he heard tales about some boy that would travel through time and all that stuff, and you've grown up a lot, and you've gotten really good at stuff, and I don't want to hear what you said again. And he's going to continue to watch us. No, he won't, because we will never have to be children again. So off he goes, and we get, I was about to run off the edge, the big treasure chest on the hand of the Desert Colossus. We got the Silver Gauntlets! If you wore them, you could feel the power in your arms, the power to lift big things with A. But these gauntlets won't fit a kid, plus you promised to give them to Nabooru anyway. You should keep your word. Who's a game to tell me what I should and shouldn't do with my stuff? Is, is this a cutscene? Oh no, is that Nabooru? Is she in trouble? Where are you taking her? What's going on? Where are those voices coming from? Down there! Down there! You fiends! Ganondorf's minions! Those witches! Are those evil witches? Get out of here! They're using black magic! Those evil witches that appeared as good guys in Majora's Mask. Don't worry, we'll see more of them later, I'm sure of it. So Link's not quite sure what happened, nor is he sure how we should get down from here. But I know. I think we should travel back here as adults. So tell you what. I'll go... I completely forgot the song to get to the Temple of Time. What is it? No. That's it. Wow, I completely blanked for a second. 
Okay, so I'm going to play the Prelude of Light. I'm going to warp back to the Temple of Time. We're going to become adults. And I'll meet you at the entrance of the Spirit Temple as an adult. Welcome back. Here we are at the entrance of the Spirit Temple as adults. Silver Rupees we cannot collect yet because the other side of the room is blocked off. But what we can do is we can grapple up through that hole. If I back up a little bit, I can reach the target. I don't know if that'll let me grab. No. Let's grab up a little bit more. No. Shoot. I think I'm going to have a little more trouble with this than I should. Grab it! Thank you. Okay, now that we have the silver gauntlets, we can move these really huge blocks. Which we would not have been able to move before had we come in here too early. I think it takes up 8 spaces. No, it's like 10. Okay, so now that fills in the gap where we got the last ice switch and the... Wait a second. I need the Scarecrow song to get over to the other side, don't I? I was supposed to get the Scarecrow song between these. It makes it easier to get to the other side, but... First, let's explore the side we were on as a child. Because we're big now, I think we can grab up here. Or if we can't, I'm sure we could hook shot up there because there's a treasure chest. So, there. Okay, maybe not. Let's try grabbing a little further to the front. There we go. I think it's a small key or something. Yes, it is. So I'm glad we came this way. There's also a rusted switch down under here. Magic, I could use some. Because of uh, Nehru's love, it drained 12 magic. So here's the rusted switch. That will give us a treasure chest in the other room, which we can only access as a child, because both entrances are blocked off with crawl spaces. So there's the treasure chest. Gonna have to activate the switch again. I think I can just hook shot up the wall. Don't ask me how the hook shot grabs onto it. I don't know. I just know it's the faster way up here. So, there you go. That's all you can do on the child side as an adult. But, you can use the torch over here to grapple onto this side. And of course, you have the stupid floor master, which you can kill in one hit. But you have the tiny ones to deal with. And I I am not a fan of the tiny ones. Because they are even harder to hit. But now they're dead. So take that. I guess I can't go in the bottom door yet. I wonder if there's stuff I can do over here. Can I do stuff over here? I'm probably going to need the hover boots to get there, but I'm also going to need the Ocarina of Time, since I see a Triforce symbol, it's probably going to be Zelda's Lullaby. I want to make sure I'm lined up properly for this, I don't know if I can make the jump. Don't slide off! Zelda's Lullaby. That's probably going to open the door on the bottom. I hear a wall master! Crud, 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 crud. But that's a treasure chest. Treasure chest? I like treasure. Where's the treasure chest? Oh no! Wall master, wall master, wall master. Die. Come back! Die. No! Oh well, I might as well get rid of the hover boots anyway. I don't like the hover boots. I, meant, I went on a rant about that already. So where's the treasure chest? There it is. 
It's a five rupee. Useless. Once again, Scarecrow's song would come in handy because the Scarecrow would pop up right there and I could hook shot up there, but I cannot do that because I don't have the Scarecrow song. It's not required, but it makes certain things easier. I honestly don't know why I didn't get it in the first place. I might just do a video of a bunch of stuff that I either forgot to do or just didn't care enough to do later. And the Scarecrow song would probably be at the top of that list. I don't know why I didn't go in here before I had a small key all along. Um, there's a firewall over here. Just use the hookshot target on the ceiling to get across. In the next part of the playthrough, we will go through this door. See you then.